November of 2002, a ship called the Prestige sailed across the Atlantic Ocean, entering Spanish territory. Prestige was a Greek-operated tanker, officially registered in the Bahamas, or the Liberian Registered Corporation as the owner. It was later on acknowledged by the owner of the ship that the conditions were not seaworthy or adequate. There were strong currents when the ship was arriving in the northwest of Spain, Galicia. The captain of the ship, Apostolos Manjaras, knew that the ship will end up breaking, which will cause an oil spill. Therefore, he requested special permission to enter one of Galicia's many bays, so the spill would not cover vast areas. Mariano Rajoy then announced that the ship must be separated from the Galician coast. Prestige was towed away from Spanish territory and military boats. On the 13th, six days after a run in trouble, the Prestige split in half and sank. The tanker spilled 77,000 tons of fuel, the worst environmental tragedy seen in Spain. The oil traveled to the Galician coastline, completely ruining the local livelihood of fishing. The sinking of the ship generated a social movement in Galicia called Nunca Mais, which means never again. Around 10,000 people were set up as volunteers to clean up the coast manually. Mariano Rajoy, Spain's president, said on December 10th that there were 14 cracks in the ship's hull and it was losing 125 tons of fuel every day. In April, it was still being decided what to do with the remaining 37,000 tons of fuel in the tanker. A decision was taken in July when four robots sealed the cracks in the hull, which took until the end of August. The captain of the ship, Apostolos Manjores, was arrested after the ship split in half and sunk but he was later on released after presenting a bank guarantee of 3 million euros. The damage caused by the oil spill was estimated at 4.3 billion euros, which affected 1,800 miles of shoreline and 1,177 beaches. The prestige still remains as the worst environmentally man-made tragedy ever seen in Spain.